Going. Awesome. Okay. Cool. All right, Tom. So we have Mr. Tom Sanzori here. So, all right. So you came in last time. We had the low back pain, the right sided spot, correct? Yep, correct. And uh, tight lumbar, low back or from deadlifting, was it? Yes. You said you thought it was? Okay, cool. All right. So we did a little treatment last time. We had your baseline test, which is doing some thoracic rotation there. We'll go over that again. Um, homework was extension lines to so doing your press ups. Correct. Right? Yes. 10 times every three to four hours or so. You got that? Yep. Cool, cool. All right, how'd those go? What, what changed, what didn't change? How are things feeling? Uh, definitely more movement, more flexibility. Uh, it, it's uh, gotten much better. I think uh, another treatment today is gonna take us all the way in. Okay, gotcha. All right, it's better there. All right, good, good, good. Has the uh, pain shifted at all? Has it moved up, down, left, right, or still on that right-hand side? Still right, straight where it was. And it, uh, not radiating all the way down, but a little bit, tiny bit now. Okay, so not down the leg no. anymore? Okay. Just the glute? Correct. No, not past the glute at not all? Not past the glute. All right. Okay, okay. All right. All right, so check your test out. So sit up nice and tall. Good. Lock in here. Turn to the left. Okay, sorry if my hands are cold. Yeah. Any problem there? No. All right. Turn to the right. Good. Any issue there? No. Cool. Good stuff. All right, and then let's um, go arms up overhead. Okay, good. All right, let's pop on up. Let's reach for the toes. Any issue there? No. All right, back bend as far as you can go. Back, 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 back. Good. All right, any problem there? No, but again, when I go to the right side back, that's got the it. same area. So leaning back, cock eye to the Correct. left, to that side? Okay, yes. gotcha. Uh, you didn't have to do this. I didn't mention this, but press up. By any chance in there, did you kind of like wiggle into it at all? I did, and okay. that felt better. I felt like it wanted to release, but it did. <laughs> Right, need yeah. a little more oomph? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Gotcha. Let's shift from side to side, do a little dance. Good, any issue there? No, uh, when I go this way, again, I feel that same. On the right side? Yeah. Okay, so shift into the left? Yes. All right, so right side glide to standing. All right. Five. Cool, all right, and then let's stand up straight again, twist left, twist right, and twist right. Good. Is this your work uniform? That's my Hell work yeah. uniform. Yes, <laughs> Working from home is beautiful. Isn't it? Right. This is a classic CPA uniform, as That's you would expect, right? That's it. But you're CPA on the side, right? Your main job is... I'm a is, CFO. <laughs> sorry. There you go. But, you're, but that's on the side. Your main job is, right, six-pack six and, 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 and uh, exactly. body, uh, being on stage? Exactly. Okay. Cool. All right. And then lastly, let's squat down. Good. Sorry. I didn't mean to... to not just a CPA, right? It's that's CFO, right. right? <laughs> Car yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good. All right. Let's take a seat here. Okay. All right. Up nice and tall. Good. Reach for the toes and come back. Good. All right. Let's line your back. Legs straight. Good. Right side down. All right. Let's bring this up here. Any issue here? Mm, right one at the very top. Right at the top. Same, same area. Okay. And then how about here? None. Okay. All right. Let's flip over face down. So we got right SLR. Okay. Does it feel tighter on your right or just uh, just painful in the back at the top? Uh, both, I would say. Both? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, Tom. Any issue here? No. Okay. And then how about here? No. And any issue here? No. Okay. All right. And I'm going to give you a little shift from side to side to the right. Yep. And then to the left. Okay. More on the right? Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Let's slide down a little bit. We'll do some press ups. Okay. Good. All right. So let's go ahead and press up. Okay. So time is a lumbar derangement, lumbosacral, and back down. And it's also affecting his leg length via his pelvis. But uh, we found he's a directional preference to extension and lying like this through. McKenzie method assessment. And we're doing a little over pressure here to really get into that joint derangement, help align it, so to say. And a lot of times we'll see um, the pelvic and leg length alignment balance out from doing this alone, but we'll also throw in some fun adjustments in there as well. Tom, how you doing here? Good. Good, any pain at all? No, but it actually feels pretty good. Like okay. It wants to give. Let's press up. You're not saying that because you're on camera? Correct. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I would tell you. Let's go press up, hold, breathe out. Good, and back down. 
Can you see my triceps here? Go and press up. There's a lot of meat in this room right now with these <laughs> arms. I mean, you obviously overpower me, but hey, I, I got some decent triceps. Let's go back down. Okay, let's press up. Go down. And again. Good. And relax. Perfect. All right, flip over your back. How's the thing at home, school? Yeah. Our kids like kids going, going nuts. Crazy. Yeah. Kids, uh, tired of working our school at home and they want Santa to keep them. <laughs> right? Santa can't come soon enough. Yeah, exactly. What are, the, uh, what are the kids getting this year or asking for at least? Uh, computers actually. Oh, oh yeah? Not new laptops. The, so nothing like, nothing their, is very cheap. Their current laptops aren't zooming enough for them? <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right, Tom's line your side facing toward me. What are you getting for Christmas? I bought uh, Amy a uh, elliptico. A what's that? You seen the elliptico? Elliptico? No. It's an elliptical that... that's outside, so it's like a bike. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I thought maybe it was like the elliptical version of Peloton or something. No, it's so actually... it's an outdoor one. Outdoor I've seen those. One. That's yes. pretty sweet. That's awesome. Have you tried one? Yes, they're phenomenal. You go pretty fast. They are. It's so fun and a killer workout. Wonderful. Good. Okay. All right, always make sure to lock in the table so it doesn't go sliding, right? All right, go and breathe and breathe out. Good, and again. Good. All right, just lie on your back. Good, 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 okay. All right, and then slide toward me. Good, give a nice big hug here. Come on out, and then relax back, breathe out. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> breathe out. Good. And again. Good. Man. All right, look at that. Three for three, huh? Great. Okay. Let's hop on up. Let's see if we can get a little bit more out of that upper uh, thoracic spine. So take a seat, slide toward the back. Good. And we'll listen to the Jeopardy music while what we're going up. What I love up. Is, the, right. is the movement. Yes. We'll wait, 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 wait. Jeopardy music. That's right. Rest in peace, Alex Trebek. It's true. Okay. Eight years old. How long was he doing Jeopardy? It wasn't like 35 years, something yeah, like that, even more than that? Exactly. Good Canada. It's crazy. Best thing Canada's ever produced, right? That's what I'm saying. Up nice and tall. Interlace the fingers behind the neck. Good. All right, bring the elbows in tight. Good, lean back with me, look up toward the ceiling. Oh, that's beautiful. Good. All right. That's a good move. Let's lie on your back. Let's bring this up here. Good. And any pull Not there. Better. Okay. Let's we'll flip over face down. Good. Then I'm going to shift from left and right and tell me when. You feel it there? Right there, yeah. Okay. Good. And then prop up on your forearms. Good. Okay. And then tell me when here. If I shift to the right, right. there. Yep. Right on it there. Right on it. Was, that the, was that the sacrum? Well, combination is your ilium mm -hmm. and your sacrum. So it's part of your pelvis on the okay. right hand side there. So your SI joint basically. So sacrum right here, ilium is it right twisted here. Or is it? Was well, on the right hand side, yes. Yeah. But it's that twisted or like the leg length that that's a, a result of it yeah. is because of the lumbar derangement here. So like alteration, the mechanics of your lumbar spine, mm -hmm. but by pressing to the right, right, it recreates that pain. So we know that at your L5 S1 region there yeah. that we have an alteration and we're using extension, right? Back bends to help reduce that. Yeah. 
Okay, is this tolerable? Yep. Okay. No pain, no gain. All right. To a certain extent. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good. Okay, let's go and hop on up. And then let's use the table here. So then we'll use this to lean back over. So we'll line right up with your low back and simply lean back, breathe out, and sink into it. Okay. Good. Is that in the right spot in your low back where I was pressing? Uh, or do I need to do I need to bring it up higher? Yeah, well, uh, actually, right there. Okay. Same issue though, is that if I go right? Yeah. That's right. Well, how does it really go? If you lean to the right. If I go this way. Okay. Yeah. If we don't get a change with this time, then we're gonna modify your press up a little bit and see if we can get into a little bit more using a right shift. That's a classic answer anymore. How many more? Two more. Two more. Sounds good. Two more. Because I didn't know what you did anyway. Good. All right. All right. Let's face toward me. Kind of shift from side to side. Got anything here? I mean, that's, yeah, when you push that right way. There. And then how about here? None. None? Okay. Let's line your back. Good. And then how about here? It's better, but it's still on that one side. Flip over face down. Okay, and then how about here? More be better. <laughs> More better? More better. Okay, but still there, obviously? Still okay. there. Okay, all right, so we're going to try to see if we get a change with shifting your hips. I'm going to slide you to the left. Okay. Good, but you're going to keep your body in the right. So I'm just going to shift your hips this way and hold you. Got it. Let's go ahead and do a press up. Good, is that painful? Um, it's tolerable. To get into that spot? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna shift you a little more here. Good, I'm gonna hold you. Go ahead and press up. Good, perfect, back down. So since there's a right side of preference to this and we went to full force with the extension and standing over the table there, we do a left shift to close down the right hand side to see if that makes a better reduction. And back down. You okay? Yep. Two more. Breathe out, hold, and back down. Good. Let's flip over on your back. Leg straight. Good. And then tell me when. Right there. Right there. Any different with that maneuver? About the same as last time. Same. Same as last time. Same one. Okay. And then let's uh, stand up. Shift from side to side. I'm gonna push here. How about there? Same thing? Yep. Okay. Let's lie face down. We're gonna try one more maneuver and see if we get a change with it. Okay. Okay. All right, let's get your, let's slide, slide down so your toes are hanging way off the edge. Keep coming, right there is perfect. Good. So we're gonna belt you down. Are you okay with that? That's fine. All right. Okay, go and do a press up. Okay, and then straighten out your elbows as far as you can go. Good. Is that pretty tight in your back? Yeah. Okay, breathe out. And then back down. So I'm going to loosen it a little bit here. Go ahead and press up again, all the way. Straight. Good. Now I'm going to tighten it all the way. Good. And then back down. Perfect. Let's go again. Should I be just going Good. back or should I Yep. Press all the way up, 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 up. Breathe out. Good. Seven more. 
Good. So this is a maneuver for the press up, the most amount of force we can get in the back. We'll see if we get a quick change with this. If we don't, Tom, we'll do a, a, like a, a hip flexor or psoas move and see if we get a change there. Otherwise, we're just gonna stay the course of your homework, okay. give you another seven days to work on this. It should dissipate over time. So sometimes we can get a quick response in here. Other times, it just needs more time and Actually, rest. Actually, though, the last time, it, it like, took about maybe like into the evening, and I felt so much relief. little time, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's just that sometimes we, I just want to make sure, do we stick with this maneuver, or do I send you home with that shifted maneuver? The shifted one did not make a big difference, so we'll stick with this. Good, last one. Good. Okay. All right. Stay here. Tell me when. Oh, much better. Okay. And then flip over on your back. And then tell me when here. Much better. Okay. And then hop on up. Good. Back over here. And then here. Further. A lot further. All right, feel the end range there? Yeah, Okay. more range. Okay, all right, let's lie on your back. Okay, and let's go, let's lie on your left-hand side facing that way. Let's bring both legs up. Good, okay. All right, my hands are gonna go in your stomach here. Okay. It's a little sensitive, so we're gonna do a little hip flexor move or psoas move here. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Found something. Right. It goes right to the back. Okay. And then go ahead and straighten your right leg out and then kick it back toward me as far as you can go. Good. And bring it back. Good. Relax the stomach as best you can. Okay. And go ahead. Straighten out. Good, and then kick back toward me. Reach up that right hand toward the ceiling as far as you can go. Open up, keep kicking back. Kick, 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 kick. And return. Okay, perfect. Let's test again, flip over on your back. Good, tell me when. Oh wow, Okay. huge difference. Okay, and then hop on up. What the hell is that? <laughs> Shift from side to side. Good, how about here? Right in that right side? Much better. Feel, okay. All right, cool. So let's stay the course. Um, so it's a psoas muscle? Yeah, yeah. so you're, that, that's a psoas release. It's all co correlated with this lumbar derangement, the kink in the chain, so to say, as we talk about, yeah. right? When you first came in, there was some obstruction with turning, right? We had some obstruction with side to side, with some pain all on that right-hand side. Typically, what we found is that there is a, an alteration in the mechanics of your low back. As a result of that, then we get protection from the body. So you get the psoas tightening up as a way to protect it. But when that happens there too, that alters the pelvic position. So thus it can shift your pelvis, make one leg longer than the other. So those are sort of symptoms of the underlying problem. But we can treat some of the symptoms and as well as the underlying problem at the same time to get better results, right? right. So the main thing is the press up to keep doing those 10 times every three to four hours. But in here we can supplement with doing like a psoas release, and you know, doing adjustments, yeah. balancing out the pelvis to kind of put you in that good position, kind of reset everything yeah. so that you can reinforce it with good homework in between visits. Right. So that way you don't need you know, a slew more you know, three times a week or so. You know, when you have these issues, how long do I usually see it? Like once a week yeah. or once, you know, maybe twice a week for a few visits until you're good. And then, and good. You, then you go work out and uh, continue getting ripped and then hurt yourself again and That's then, right, then I'm back. put you back together, I'm right? Back. Cool. All right, so any questions? No. Homework makes sense? Yes. So you can stick with the press ups. No side bends. Yeah, no side bends. We don't need, you can if you want. Like, I think you can do either the lying down press up or the standing. I didn't see a big difference between them. However, the belt move was helpful for you. So that tells me you need full end range pressure, right? Since you can tolerate it. So when you do a press up, you want to make sure that you're breathing out, <sighs> sinking to that sucker as much as you can. And no sideways, just straight back. Yeah, just straight back, right? And okay. then when, if you want to do a standing back bend, you can do the stick move, right? Or in your gym, you can lean on yep. something or yep. like a couch, okay. right? Do this here. Yep. <sighs> if you want to do a little bit of a right sided, like, lean like that nothing wrong with that okay. right but you don't need to go home 
slide your hips to the right and press up that way. It just didn't make a big difference, okay. right? Yep. We just need more time and reps and force sinking into that move. And you'll start to feel that right side be less blocky and not bother you as much. But yes, there's nothing wrong with doing this and then kind of like push into the right a little bit. You may even pop yourself, which is fine too and kind of feels nice. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Well, another way also, if you want to feel like you want to stretch out that hip flexor, a great way to do that is to do what's called a triplanar hip flexor stretch. So put your knee in a pad, or if it's just on the ground, it doesn't matter. But if your knee bothers you, put it on a pad. Yep. And what you'll do first is you can do this willy nilly, but the problem with this, you're just stretching out your hip capsule. You're not really getting into the hip flexor, the psoas. So what you have to do is actively think about bringing your belt buckle towards your nose. And when you do that, that tilt, it immediately makes the front of your hip a little taut. And then when you lean forward, you'll feel it right away, Got right? It. And so what you'll do is simply rock forward and back, but then we can add some upper body movement to get more stretch and pull on it. And so what you can do is reach overhead and you'll really feel it like deep in here. And then there's reach across and then there's um, over the top like that. And so these th are all, the, the, this all, one is so right like huge. Yoga, some yoga moves in there. For sure. Yeah. yeah. It's all just movement. You, know, you can call it yoga, Pilates, you know, uh, underwater basket weaving. It's all yeah, just, exactly. it's a movement stuff. But uh, try this out here. So let's go. Uh, so yep. which side? If this, if my... The one that we worked on, which is the right side. Yeah. So right knee down. Right knee down. Good. So first, kind of bring your belt buckle, proverbially, up to your nose. Okay. And you should feel this tighten I up do. a little bit, okay? Now keep that, but rock forward and rock back a little bit. Can you feel that there? Yes. Okay, you shouldn't be able to rock super far forward. All right, so come back more. So tuck under, pull your belt buckle, hold that. So keep the back flat and now come forward. Feel that? Yep. Good. Keep that and now throw your hands overhead and then bring them down as you return. Good. Reach up and back, okay? Oh, yeah. Now. So I'm feeling it right yes, in here. Yes. And you'll feel it deep in here in just yeah. a minute. Keep it tucked and now take your right hand and reach over the top as you come forward. You should feel right oh, yeah. through there, deep in like the belly. Yep. Good. Do it again. Great. And then the last one is then reaching across. This way? Yep. Just don't punch a hole in the wall. Good. And I personally get the most out of this one, but sometimes this one's a this big one, one too. feels like it wants to, like you said, pop. Okay. And then come back. Yeah. So make sure you tuck that tailbone, bring that belt buckle up. Good. And then now come forward and reach across. Oh, yeah. So feel it in there. Yep. Yeah. Good. Cool. So just run through a couple reps of that. The biggest thing is to make sure that you're not sticking that butt out like a J-Lo booty. You gotta tuck that tailbone under, keep it that way. Cause if you do this, you can just go for days and all you're doing is just pulling your, you're just bending in the spine, not the hip. When you tuck under, that's when you truly get in the hip. And you gotta feel it in the belly here. If you're not feeling in the belly, you're not getting the hip, the psoas, you're just getting your Got hip there. capsule otherwise. Got it. Okay? Okay. Cool? Got it. Awesome. All right, Tom. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll see you next time. All right. We'll be here.